Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Evans Mills, New York, with uh, Matthew the Village Idiot. Well, why is he called the Village Idiot? Because, well, he's not that bright, and people have told him over and over again to stop with what he's doing as far as antagonizing the people of his town. But does he listen? No. And his continued uh, methods of antagonization toward his town have resulted in, uh, well, a few hospital visits. And, uh, well, he ends up in a bit of a tussle because of this one, too. So, well, that's because, that's because of his own damn stupidity for him filming the wrong children. Come on, Matt. I mean, uh, leave the children out of this. Don't bring them into the fold with your issues with the town. That's only going to make things worse for you in the long run. And especially since what you said uh, on Hezekiah's channel today, where you were going to start filming children just to piss the town off, because, well, you're an idiot. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Dog attacked your dog, you know, then we handle it, we deal with it. Uh, but it wasn't even my dog. We get home, we get home to the dog ward and park right out front of our house and our dog's still tied up. Been tied up the whole time. So if our dog did attack their dog, then their dog was on our property you know, messing with our dog, and he defended his property or whatever. You know, I'm not saying that it's cool that he did that, if he was the one that did the, did it. But he even posted online saying, right on his own Facebook, saying that he uh, he figured out whose dog that it was, and it wasn't my dog, but he still talked about us. And then, they, like I said, they called just this year again. Oh, great. Now you're going to bring your dog into this vicious little cycle of, of antagonism? I mean, what kind of person are you? <clears throat> Let's say going to the extent of making a fake Facebook. When, when you Google image search that picture that they posted of the dog bite victim, it brings it right up. It's a girl in the, from the United Kingdom, and it was like 10 years ago. I mean, it, you're you're that stupid. You couldn't even get a real picture or like a you know a picture that was un untraceable or like just straight up fake it. And then our our cat came our or no the dog came home with a, a pellet in its nose, so it got shot with a pellet gun. Like they're just straight trash. Don't condone a violence against any animal at all or even humans, but. You have been antagonizing your entire town, and you're suffering the consequences as we speak. And now your dog has become part of the consequences for your antagonistic behavior toward the town. There is only so far you can push anybody before they start to break, and I think that the town has had enough of your antics, and now they are ready to strike out at you. Trouble is, you're not going to listen to reason. I've talked to you about it. Big West has talked to you about it. A lot of other YouTubers have talked to you about this. You just don't listen. There's an old saying, you reap what you sow, and you are certainly reaping what you sowed. So, good luck with that. I go, she invites me down to her house because she knew that I was, uh, li that I, uh, record shit. So she, uh, she would come down, we'll have a conversation, you know, trying to more more along the lines of making threats. I get down there and she pulls out this big old splitting mall. You know, she comes right to the side of the road right where the splitting mall. Instantly trying to attack me. Last year, her and her crazy ass uh, friend um, came up to my house and pulled a machete out. Like a zombie apocalypse style machete too. Not even like your, uh, you know, regular Jason Voorhees machete. A Jason Voorhees style machete, okay, whatever. I mean, you'll have to be a bit more specific on that because Jason Voorhees has used a variation on the machete throughout all the movies. And the machete is not always his go to when he uh, dispenses with his victims. I mean, he may use whatever's handy. Anybody who's ever watched a Friday the 13th movie knows Jason does tend to get rather creative. The 
fuck. Like I said, when I messaged her boyfriend and then uh, told him not to put, make posts on Facebook about us, you know, just to come up and handle it like a real adult, like, you know? We're going to go into the park. All right. Um, you know, I, it, he couldn't even come up. He sent his girlfriend and her friend out to touch it. So, didn't even have the balls to come up and, and, and talk like an adult. No, you're good. I'll turn it away, actually. How you do? <laughs> you're a bunch of, bunch of children. Their, their parents don't take care of them. Their, pe their, their parents don't teach them respect. Uh, children flipping off the camera. Uh, that seems perfectly normal to me. I mean, you go back about 30, 40 years, you'll see the same thing on uh, still photography. In fact, I've got a picture of my mother flipping off a camera from 50 years ago. And besides, those children look like they're well taken care of, unlike what I hear about your children, because I hear that you get constant uh, visits from CPS. And, uh, well, I can understand that with the way you act around town. I mean, CPS has got to make sure your children are safe, considering you've got people coming after you all the time. So, they're the ones trespassing on my property, too, and they're going to be held accountable for it when I, when I catch them on camera. So. This video is about an hour and a half long, so I'm going to have to skip around a bit. So let's go ahead and move forward through time. That's much too early. Prepare to fast forward. We're preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Many, many minutes later. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Your head was awfully close down there, guys. Huh? I mean, put their head right down by my, my junk. Disgusting. Right, that's what I said. I, I picked up my phone so that way they wouldn't hit the phone uh, and put it down on my lap. And he like puts his face right up there, right next to my junk, pretty much. And you were on Hezekiah's morning live stream saying that you don't film children. Well, here you are filming children, and that's why the townspeople don't like you. They think you are a uh, sicko. Then you turn around and say that since they obviously think you're filming children anyway, that you're going to go ahead and do it just to piss them off. Not the right way to go, man. Not the right way to go. I don't want my child on YouTube. That's fine. Thank you. That's fine by me. Now you'll fucking you fucking you fucking catch it, give you the welfare of a child. You know what? I am not even going to bother saying poor little guy at all because we all knew this kind of thing was coming. It's happened to him several times already, and it's going to continue to happen to him every single time because he's just that damn antagonistic toward the town. It's going to happen again and again. Learn from it, dude. You're the problem, not the town. Of course, he has no capacity to learn anything, and we found that out over time because other YouTubers have pretty much told him that this was going to happen to him if he continued down that path. And guess what? It's happening. A little longer than a few minutes later.
Oh, I was assaulted. Yeah, and you've been assaulted uh, at least, I don't know how many times you've been assaulted in the past couple weeks alone. I mean, it's becoming a regular thing with you. I was assaulted. I was standing down here on the bridge waiting for the parade to come back. They're supposed to stop on the bridge to do a little service. I was going to record it, you know, uh, live stream for Facebook. And this kid, uh, Johnny Bartle and his girlfriend and their children, I don't know, there was another adult or two adults or something Barb there. Barb and her. Yeah, Barb. Uh, they came up. He uh, punched me in the face, threw my phone. Where right here. It was just a quick, you know, it wasn't non-serious, but... Yeah, Basically, like, it's all on, like I said, it's all on camera, live streamed. And so, I noticed it from here. So about, assault or harassment. No, you're right. It's a harassment because assault charges or the way assault works in New York State is bullshit. But well, you're right. So, so. Any, any, any other state, any other state breaking this alone is assault. Well, then perhaps you should move out of New York State and move to someplace else where the, uh, just breaking that thing is considered to be assault. But wait. I don't think they tolerate you in those towns either because, well, you're too antagonistic. A lot of other states. So, but yeah, it was like if it's an extension, yes. What's broken? Where did the piece just go? Your other pocket. This was. Hold that. This was on the tripod right here. This was on the tripod, holding both of my phones. So, do this just screw back in there? No, no, I don't. I've it's already tried. It's cracked. It Look. It's cracked and smashed right here. So. And the fact that he did it in front of his yeah, kids I, was attacking him. Well, you don't show back in there. You have to unscrew it, you? No, I've already tried. It does not work. I have already tried. It does not work. It got cracked and fell out of place. Well, I'd say we told you so, but everybody who's actually talked to you, including myself, we told you this kind of thing was going to happen to you. And guess what? It happened to you. Not because we're fortune tellers, but because we actually know how people operate. Because unlike you, we actually have a concept known as social awareness. We actually know what may trigger people, and what may not trigger people in general. Not as a whole, but just in general. You appear to have no social awareness whatsoever, and perhaps not any self-awareness whatsoever either. All that joined with the inability to learn from your mistakes makes you a very moronic and dangerous individual. That's why. Like I said, that was holding both of my phones. No phones down. No, he didn't no get jumped. No here, but just, this just, crack just here. that, yeah, just that broken. Listen, this goes too with that. But it's not only the fact that he attacked him, but the fact he did it yeah, in, front said, in front of hundreds of, of people and children. At least seventy-five people. And then now. told his kids to be quiet yeah, and rushed home and with them. So, so all live stream, I can show you here. I even got my phone started right here. <laughs> it's dark as shit. Well, I'm just going to leave it right there, people, because, well, nothing happens from this point on. The officer takes the report, but he is arrested for this issue. I mean, when you got a whole town that pretty much hates you, and cloak, including law enforcement, it's going to be difficult to get anything done. I mean, like I said before, he's got no self-awareness, no social awareness, and uh, that makes him a very ignorant, dangerous individual because he doesn't know how to act around people. And that much is clear. And what makes it even more dangerous is he is very aware of uh, YouTube clicks and views. So he's going to try to antagonize these people as much as he can to four clicks and views. But he doesn't have a awareness of how, how far he can go with it. So I don't see this ending very well for him in the future. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.